Hey guys, my name is Isaac. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Beans and Rice, where we're trying to cook a dinner for five for under $20. Today we're gonna to be doing grilled chicken tacos with a side of queso and pico de gallo. We're gonna need about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I got some purple onions, some tomatoes, limes, jalapenos, cilantro, um, tortilla shells, canned chilies, American cheese. These are the basic ingredients you need for these tacos today. I'm gonna start by trimming off any excess fat or skin on these thighs. You can use any kind of chicken you want. I prefer a thigh because it has a higher fat content. I think it helps it stay juicier while you're cooking it. Also, if you overcook it a little bit, it doesn't get as dried out. As I'm preparing for these meals, I'm doing most of my shopping at discount grocery stores like Aldi. I'm also trying to create five adult-sized portions, so adjust this to fit what your family needs. Most of the meals I make right now will feed my family twice. Now the chicken's been prepped, we're going to flip them over top down and start layering on our seasonings. We'll start by adding a little bit of salt. To that we'll add black pepper, ground cumin, chili powder, and finally garlic powder. Flip all these thighs over and we'll start seasoning the top. I'm gonna to season them the same way, the only difference is this time I'm gonna add paprika to the top. Set all this aside and we'll start prepping some of the other items. Now for the pico. I'm using about six Roma tomatoes. You can use whatever type of tomato you like. I prefer Roma because I feel like it holds up better as I'm dicing it. Now we're gonna add about half a purple onion. Dice it up pretty fine and add it to the tomatoes. If it looks like it's gonna to be too much, hold a little bit back. You don't want the onions to overpower all the other flavors. Now for the cilantro. I'm gonna pull the leaves off the stems, give it a pretty rough chop, and add about a tablespoon to the tomatoes and onions. I'm gonna add the juice of one lime, season it with salt. Now mix everything together and we'll set it aside so all these flavors can come together. Now for the jalapenos and onions. We're gonna grill these and add them to the tacos. If you're worried about the jalapenos being too hot, use a bell pepper. That's gonna work fine and add a lot of great flavor. Slice up the remaining onions, take the jalapenos, de-seed them, now we're going to slice them into small, narrow strips. Now I'm making a simple foil pan. This way I can cook the peppers and onions on the grill right alongside the chicken. If you'd rather cook them on the stovetop, that's fine. I prefer to do it this way. I'm going to add a couple slabs of butter to this pan. I'm going to pour over the peppers and onions, add a little bit of salt, some pepper, garlic powder, and we'll set this aside, put it on the grill later. Now we're going to make a cilantro lime coleslaw. I'm going to start with about three cups of cabbage. We'll add about half a cup of sour cream, the juice of half a lime, a tablespoon of cilantro, season it with a little bit of salt, now mix everything together. If it looks a little bit dry, add a little more sour cream. When everything looks right, set it aside and let these flavors come together. All right, you can see the weather's not really cooperating, but we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna get this chicken on the grill. This is gonna be some awesome tacos.
Make sure you're stirring the peppers and onions kind of regularly. You don't want them to sit still too long and burn while they're on the grill. Also watch these, you want to pull them off when they still have a little bit of a bite. You don't want them to cook too long and get mushy. Now we're going to flip the chicken and finish the cook. Keep your eye on the chicken. When it comes to temperature, pull it off the grill and we'll set it aside and let it rest for a little bit. Peppers and onions are done. Now we're gonna wrap these up and pull them off the grill. Now that the chicken's off the grill, we're gonna start making the queso. I'm gonna do this by adding about two tablespoons of butter to a medium saucepan. To that, I'm gonna add about half a cup of half and half. If you don't have half and half, use milk. That's gonna work just fine. Warm this up slowly, and when the butter's melted, start adding the cheese. I'm using the cheapest white American cheese I could find. It ended up being a generic version of a Kraft Singles. Guys, this works perfectly for queso and tastes delicious. Once the cheese starts melting, we're gonna add about half a teaspoon of garlic powder and we'll mix in our four ounce can of green chili peppers. Mix everything together and put it over a low heat, stirring it pretty regularly. You don't want this to burn to the bottom of the pan. If you have a small crock pot, this would be a great time to use it so you can keep it warm while you're serving it. Now I'm gonna warm up the tortilla shells. I'm gonna do this by wrapping them in a wet paper towel and putting them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. This way they're gonna be nice and soft when you go to serve them. The last step is gonna be cutting up the chicken. We're gonna do this by cutting it in half and turning it to cut it across the grain. This is gonna make for a nice tender bite. There you have it, these are my grilled chicken tacos. This is one of my family's favorite meals. As you can see, we pushed this right up to our max budget coming at 1966. Let me show you how I'm gonna put these tacos together. I'm gonna to start by laying down a little bit of chicken, jalapeno peppers and onions, cilantro lime coleslaw, a little bit of pico, and we'll finish it with a fresh squeeze of lime juice. Guys, I hope you give this recipe a try. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.